Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and today I'm bringing you some bad news. Um, as people would have seen about my Sims 3 Let's Play, if you're not interested in my Sims 3 Let's Play, you might want to skip this video. Although there's a little bit on the end that I would like to uh, to say to, to everyone uh, on my channel that, that follows me. Anyway, on the Sims 3, um, people who watched my last video will know that I had a big crash right at the end of my game there. And basically it's ended up that the last four parts of my Sims... Um, Let's play that you can see down here. Um, the, the the saved game actually rolled back right the way, and I thought I'm not doing another two hours worth of work. What I'm going to do is say, you know what, that is it, it for the Jace Neon Legacy. There is going to be no Sims videos this week. However, next week I'm going to be starting with a new family. This time it is going to be a family. Um, I'm going to start in a new neighbourhood. I'm going to start with a new budget because I don't think, yeah, I don't want to start off right at the start again with a load of, you have know, got to do all this money. I've, you know, I don't want to do that. I do want to concentrate on their jobs and getting the promotions and such and, and concentrate on different kind of skills and such. But what I would like to do is start with a different budget. Let's say 50,000 simoleons for a family. I don't think that's too bad. I also going to use cheats in, in this next Let's Play. I'll, you know, mostly it's going to be the move object cheat because um, I've been doing a little bit of playing around, I've been doing a little bit of testing and I've found out that the sims can actually still use things that you move around using this cheat which is very very good. I always thought that if you use that cheat to make a house look good I you know, I didn't think that, uh, that the sims could actually use the items that you've moved into different places say for example. So I'm going to be using that kind of cheat as I'm going into this next uh, let's play. What I would like to propose to you guys is I could either go out there and create a new family myself using create a sim. I could dip in to the sims family bin and actually, you know, grab out a family that's already been created there, that's already got all the attributes and everything. That's my preferred way of doing it. You know, I'd like to be able to do that so I'm I'm not in control of their bad aspects, if you know what I mean. All the, uh, all the families in the sims bin um, do have attributes that are not exactly favourable attributes to have. Say, for example, somebody could be evil, somebody could be a kleptomaniac, somebody could be, you know, um, I don't know, a prankster or, you know, whatever. All these bad traits that I'm not in control of that I can just, you know, take over a family and uh, and try from there. I'm also not going to be enabling aging. I never enable aging as I'm going through a family. I like to have that story behind them. I like to be starting off with, you know, the bare minimum, uh, you know, what would be a bare minimum for a family, I think, is 50,000 50, simoleons. I don't think that 20,000 is enough for a family. I may drop that down to about 30, maybe even 40, uh, 40,000 simoleons. I'm not quite sure yet. But um, what I like to see is that from the start, going all the way through, getting to the top of the career ladder, having a big massive house that I've built up myself, that I've got different rooms doing different things, have my kids, you know, there doing really well at school, and then once I've got that together, what I then do is move on, let the uh, the adults turn into elders, let, let the teens turn into adults, and then the whole story starts again. And this is what the legacy part of it comes down to. This is what I really wanted this playthrough to be, is a legacy all about Jace Neon and uh, you know what he does in his life. So I'm just looking for feedback from you guys you know, throughout this week on what you would like to see in, uh, in The Sims 3 in this next upcoming Let's Play. However, you know what? What? Maybe there's a particular neighbourhood that you would like me to play in. Maybe there's a particular profession you'd like me to take a look at. Maybe there's a particular expansion pack that you would like to see the stuff for. Maybe I could do it so that it's like a neg a legacy. But uh, what I do is for different parts. I concentrate on you know different aspects of different um, expansion packs. So say for example, right at the start, I could concentrate on um, I don't know generations maybe where I actually take a look at different um, different what do you call them? Not they're not careers. They are professions. That's the word. Uh, professions. So there's a massive six and a half hours worth of work there in The Sims 3 that unfortunately isn't going to carry on because I just don't have the drive to do another two hours work again getting back to the same stage of what I was. I'd rather just start anew to be quite honest. 
Anyway, the the bit that's uh, for everybody in this uh, in this thing here. I want to go to my channel here because it's very very exciting news, guys. We're on four thousand nine hundred and thirteen subscribers so far. I thank everybody for joining me because they haven't joined me for the quality. They joined me for for you know what I do. Now some people could have joined me for Minecraft, some people could have joined me for The Sims, some people could have joined me for Football Manager and some people could have joined me for the FIFA, be it the playthrough of FIFA or the simulated playthrough of FIFA, which both of them I'm enjoying absolutely immensely at the minute. I'm just hoping that this bug or whatever it is that freezes your career mode is not going to do the same thing for me. But we are rattling towards 5,000 subscribers. We are rattling towards it. I mean, just this morning, I was on three, uh, 3,000. Bloody hell, I've gone up quite a lot. I was on 4,889 or, or 90 or something like that. So I've gone up quite a few su uh, subscribers in one day. Not quite, as, you know, not quite as many as what other people do out there, but I'm always grateful for every single subscriber that I get. And that is one thing that I cannot stress enough. And I I always say this in every one of my videos that I do when I sub say about my subscriber level I always thank each and every one of you old and new subscribers for supporting me over the years or supporting me over how many days you've been here so thank you very much I never as well I've got to say this I never advertise my stuff everybody does that for me you know they say oh you know look at this bloke he's got a channel he does this he does that and um I like it that way. I don't I don't purposely go out there and start spamming my links or you know I don't go out there and I don't ask for any likes. I don't say oh could we, could we maybe get I don't know 300 likes on this video. I never do that. Now that is a form of advertising. I don't care what people say, but I never ever spam people and ask for likes. It's just something that I don't believe in. I want my I want these subscribers to come in because they want to actually watch my stuff, not because they've been forced to by somebody clicking on a like or, you know, something like that. I always let people find me. I never put myself out there and say you know, come and come and have a look at what I do. It's just something I've never done. Now, for anybody who's interested in how I record my stuff, I always say this because people just don't seem to be able to see this. Uh, so I'm going to draw attention to this paragraph right at the top here. A lot of people ask me, "What do I record with? How do I record?" And it it, it does get quite annoying the fact that I've got. I keep getting loads of inbox messages saying, how do you record your videos? How do you record your videos? Please just take a look at uh, this here. I've put it in capitals. Um, so there's no real excuse that you'll be able to miss something like that. So hopefully you guys will read that and then uh, you know decide what you want to do from there. The upcoming YouTube channels at the minute is on hold for the next couple of weeks. Uh, purely for the fact that I've got a lot of things going on, uh, not just on my channel, but um, behind the scenes with my Solitarycraft mod pack, I've been absolute, I've been on there every day, making sure all my mods and all the links are updated to the most recent links. And it, that's something I pride myself upon. I make sure that I sit down for about half an hour every night go through all the links, see if anything's been updated. If it has, go and sort it out. If it hasn't been updated, then obviously I just leave it as it is. And I always make sure that I've got my changelog there so that you guys can see what's been going on with the launcher. If you're interested in that kind of thing, if you're interested in Minecraft, if you're interested in a mod pack that actually does everything for you so you don't have to mess about with config files and stuff like that, then pop over to my Solitarycraft Let's Play. There is a, a whole like playlist of, of videos in there, I think there's about seven, I think we're up to about part seven now. And all the links that you need are in the descriptions on that one. So this is basically like a, I don't know, you could call it a channel update, kind of like. Um, mostly, sim, uh, you know, mostly about The Sims 3 and the fact that, I'm sorry, but the JS Neon Legacy has come to an end. I'm not quite sure, like I said, which direction I want to go in. I had a few ideas of what to do for The Sims 3, and I did even have an idea of stopping The Sims 3 entirely. However, there is few, there is people out there who do watch The Sims 3. I mean, let's just go to the playlists here. Um, uh, the, let's 
take solitary craft for example there's a you know a lot of people you know a fair few people do watch my solitary craft videos especially now that I've got a lag free computer and I can actually record without any lag at all which is absolutely brilliant and I can record using fraps which is absolutely great also but if we go down to the sims 3 neon legacy yes this has been around a lot longer but I've got you know I've got a few more views than what I do on the solitary craft one so I'm glad people are enjoying it so far and of course it always tapers off towards the end as you get in further and further on but 23 parts of a sims let's play is not bad in my opinion it's not bad at all now getting on to my final bit um, of my channel update and that's a lot of people saying about my si my manager mode on York City and my simulated manager mode of Tottenham and I made the statement that I said, you know, this is going to be my last time that I'm going to be updating, uh, uploading two a day. Now, there's there's two main reasons for this. Number one is that, well, there's actually three main reasons. There's, number one is that people aren't going to be spammed with a lot of uh, videos all at the same time. You know, people will be able to keep up to date if I do one York City mode one day, the next day Tottenham, then go back to my York City the next day after that, and then just, you know, alternate them between, the t between you know, days. So that's one reason why. The second reason why is when I put two videos up a day on the same thing, say for example, I've got the York there and I've got the Tottenham there, people always seem to go to the second one rather than the first. And of course, you know, that means that, I, that I'm losing views along the way and I, do, I don't want to, I don't want to lose views. I mean, I've made, I've, I've tried very hard uh, to, to keep things up to date. I've tried very hard to get, make sure that I'm getting the videos out there so that you guys have got something to watch and keep yourselves occupied within my videos and all that hard work I don't really want to go to waste if somebody's gonna skip one video and go on to the next say for example um, especially on my simulated manager mode because of course if you missed that one video you've probably not missed a lot um, that you can already catch up on in the next one so I'd rather just keep it so that you guys can keep up to date with it but at the same time not skipping parts at the same time I'd like to people to keep up with the story and keep up with what's going on um, around you know around that time um, and the the third main reason is because I simply don't have the time to sit down and do all this recording um, it does take a long long time to do the recording as you can see there's not it's not just sitting there turning the camera on and doing that you have then got to get it onto the computer you've got to upload it you've got to then write the descriptions for it make sure it goes into the right playlists by the way I've been keeping up with my playlists this time round and I fully expect to keep up with my playlists um, it, it does help definitely but there's a I'd like to keep some kind of room some kind of space to do other things um, I don't just predominantly do FIFA on my channel anymore. That used to be a big thing on my channel. I used to do FIFA a whole lot. But now, you know, I tend to do other things as well. I tend to do a lot of Minecraft. I tend to do, like, say, The Sims 3 there. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of diverse things. FM, FIFA, Solitary Craft, The Sims. What other channel gives you this amount of diversity? That's what I would like to try and keep for my channel. Something that keeps everybody entertained all at the same time as well as you know there's there's always channel updates to do there's always some epic moans and if I absolutely cram myself full of FIFA I won't have the time to do all this I mean I've got a few things kicking around in my in in the back of my head to actually have a whinge about so I'm keeping them there for for another video in the in the later future I hope that you that you guys are enjoying everything that I'm doing um, if you don't already know by now I do have Twitter I also have Facebook. Um, I tend to be more on Twitter nowadays than I am on Facebook. There is also a link to uh, Yoush, the Yoush Network, who I'm with, and the designer of not only my web page, but of all these uh, thumbnails that you're seeing there. Um, that's his link to his channel. He is going to be in the next uh, um, upcoming YouTube channels. He's helped me out a lot. And I would like to help him out also. Not only that, but he does do good content as well. So uh, that's about that. That's about it. Yeah, I think I've covered absolutely everything. Now it says 2.2 million video views there, 
but um, there's somewhere else that says I've got like 2.6 or 2.7 million video views and I don't know which one to go by because of course there's a lot of videos in here that's probably been deleted over the time that probably don't have the video views shown on there so I'm not quite sure where I am with video views but 2.2 million video views is insane thank you very much everybody for supporting me along the way through uh, through hardships personally as well um, but I seem to be in a good place at the minute and I'm enjoying what I'm doing so thank you very much guys and uh, until next time I have been the tough man and as always stay safe